Hi first grade. So we've been talking about donating and we've also been talking about volunteering. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some people to interview, probably in my house, but also some other people and ask them how they are donating or how they have volunteered in the past and why they think that's important. So we're going to start with, well, we'll see. You guys will have to guess who we're going to start with. And then I can share, I will also share at the end a little bit about how I've volunteered, how I've donated before, and hopefully that will inspire you and maybe your family to find ways that you can show how you love and you care for people in your community through volunteering and through donation. All right, so this is my sister, and I'm asking her our question. What is an example of you volunteering or donating in the past? So I've donated before um, some money to my church who does some work to help homeless people and support what they're doing. So I just give money online, type in my info, hit send. Yeah, so she donated money. We talked about that to help people who are homeless really awesome. Thanks for sharing. Alrighty, so this is my mom and I'm asking her the same question. How have you volunteered or donated in the past? Well, one way that I've done and I've done, I did it several years um, for my daughter's school, they collected, to we collected toys for children who live in other countries that don't get any toys for Christmas and it's called Operation Christmas Child. And we collected toys and also other necessary things like socks and toothbrushes. And I, I donated lots of stuff, mini stuffed animals and lots of soap and that type of thing. And then I went to their school and helped pack up the shoe boxes. And then we prayed for whoever would get them and sent them off with the school to children all over the world. Okay, cool. So she donated some things, like I showed you donating things, and she also mm -hmm. volunteered her time. Great, thank you. Alrighty, so we're asking Miss Barclay our question that we've asked some people. So Miss Barclay, tell us about a time that you donated or volunteered. Definitely. I love volunteering. So one way that I volunteer is I sometimes go to uh, a food kitchen, which is a place where people can go and get food that they need. And what I do is they come in and I serve them food and we'll have hot meals prepared. And then sometimes we also uh, put groceries into a bag like canned corn, peanut butter, jelly, and we bag it up, and then people can take it with them. So that's one way that I volunteer. And another way I actually volunteer with Pickles is Pickles is a therapy dog, which means that she helps people when they feel kind of like anxious and stressed and maybe like a little bit in the red zone or the blue zone. Um, Pickles will sit with them, and people can pet Pickles, and it helps calm people down. And so Pickles and I go to... Ch uh, children's Hospital in, in D.C., and Pickles will sit with kids who aren't feeling very well, and then we get to read with them, and they get really excited and happy to see Pickles, just like you guys do, um, because they're kind of stuck in a hospital bed for a few days, and Pickles will lay in the bed with them, and she can and they can pet her, and it makes them really, really happy. So volunteering and donating... Um, anytime I go to a store and they ask me to maybe donate a dollar or donate five dollars to help an organization or someone that helps uh, people that need help or animals that need help, I always want to donate my money, as long as you have it, to help them. So I, I think it's really important that you're donating and you're volunteering your time and making sure you're really kind to other people and animals. Wow, awesome. Thank you so much, Ms. Barclay.
All right, so we are able to talk to Miss Barclay, my mom, and my sister about different ways that they have volunteered or donated in the past. And I also love volunteering. Um, one of my favorite ways that I've ever volunteered, well, most of the time I love volunteering with kids uh, or with teaching. So one time I got to go to another country, to South Africa, and I volunteered and I taught English for a month. And I taught English to students who needed to learn how to read English and how to speak English, uh, which was so cool. I loved it. I was with 10th graders, so they were old, older kids, but it was still so fun. And I was really able to see the ways that they grew and the impact that I got to make because I volunteered and I wasn't paid to do it. Um, and so that's a really cool, that was a cool experience that I had. But I hope that you got to see that as I was talking about it, or my mom, Miss Barclay, the excitement that came into our eyes and the joy that came into our eyes because like I said before, there's so much joy in giving. There's so much happiness that comes from giving and helping other people and learning from other people and listening to other people um, through opportunities like donating and volunteering. So tomorrow we're going to be reading a article about a girl who's just a little bit older than you guys and one way that she decided to donate her hair. We didn't talk about that much, but she donated her hair for a really awesome cause. And we're going to write a paragraph and it'll be great. All right. Sorry that this video is a little bit posted late today, but hopefully you've had a great day of learning.